Hi, I'm Debbie and this is Joe and we're here for Real Watchlist Plus. And this week we're going to do True Grit. Not the first, not the second, but the third remake. That was tough. <laughs> that was the hardest thing I did today. <laughs> Let's talk about this. What? First of all, no, please. I wish they were bigger. Wait, is that a, anyway. Can we monetize with the word? I don't know. When I say. Well, you can say. Without <laughs> Show. Joe and I try to dress for the part, and I want to get into our outfits today. But I adore your jacket. Yes, thank you. got the you. whole Cochise thing going on. With the, and what, you got a horse. Well, this is my paint by numbers I did, Aww. and it represented horse flesh, Aww. which I love very dearly. Aww. And I did this. Wait, and wait, wait, wait. wait. You, you like horse flesh? What'd you say? I love horses. I know, but you said horse flesh. Okay, well. like you were eating them. Flesh? Did you yeah, I do. Flesh? I do that all the time because I'm the cattle. Really really now. And what I want to say about your outfit, besides your 10 gallon, which is only like a two gallon, I must say. Right. But my outfit, we're going to play a game with my outfit. Well, you have a cowboy name. What? Is it Jig Jiggles Joe? Jiggles Joe? Is it? Hmm. Sparkles Peterson? Sparkles, Pe Sparkles Peterson. Hmm. Audience, what do you think? Is he Jiggles Joe or is he Sparkles Peterson? What hmm. is your name? Please reveal it, sir. Well, I'm surprised you didn't get it because I'm going to be where the lights are shining on me like a rhinestone on cowboy. cowboy. Ba -ba. How does rhinestone cowboy connect to True Grit? The nuke true grit. So let's play seven degrees of Ronstone Cowboy. I don't know. I don't know. I can review the film okay. in a very uh surreal Phone a friend, style. you're calling me. Okay, here we go. Okay. Rhinestone Cowboy was sung by uh Glenn Campbell? Yes! Glenn okay. Campbell appeared as an actor. No, I have to do this. Glenn Campbell yes. appeared as an actor in I don't know. True Grit. Grit. He was in the original. Yes, the original. I love him so much. I have to go back. I have to lie down. My head is hurts. I get a head down. And, and True Grit 2010 was based on the original True Grit 1969. Okay. Right. Well, let's talk about the plot of True Grit, first mm -hmm. of all. It's about a boozing marshal who's kind of on his last legs. That's played by Jeff Bridges. And he meets a young girl who's looking to avenge the death of her father. So she hires him, and together they go down to get this culprit. Mm -hmm. It's got a great cast. I actually like it better than the first one. Really? Yes, I do. Let's show our reviews. I do. I'm oh going to have God, issue with this. It. Okay, ready? Are you on ready? On count three, count down to three. Three, two, one. Show our reviews. Beep. What you are, you are, you know what? I thought I was a mean film critic. You are I like unbelievable. No, I have issue with this film while it has some merit. I want to I know what, is six. that Matt Damon or is that Jeff Bridges? So this is actually John Wayne because I'm oh. a fan of the original. All right. Well, and, uh, right. you know, John, the, the character name was uh, Brewster Cockburn. Cogburn. Cogburn? Cogburn. Oh, Cogburn. C O G B U R N. Oh, we're correcting me. It's got a great cast. I mean, I like Jeff Bridges. I mean, he's a leading man, but I he's not a, kill, a killer, great looking leading man, but a solid leading man. Mm -hmm. The girl in it, I think her name was Hallie Steinfeld, actually yes. 15,000 kids tried out for this part. And the only reason she got the part is because she could talk fast enough mm -hmm. that all the little soliloquies she had to deliver uh -huh. was rapid, 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 right, right. and she could do it. And she didn't get tongue-tied. So they cast her. Matt Damon is in it. I I just don't care about Matt Damon one way or the other, uh, but he did a good job in this. Yeah, but see, this is where I have issue because, again, we're talking about another movie made from an original movie. I I really like the 1969 original. Mm -hmm. Although, again, it's not as low as it could have gone because the movie does have merit in my eyes, watching it for the first time. Okay. Um, and 
the Academy Awards, although they gave it, what, 10 nominations? Yep. Came back with zero. Yep. And I can tell you why because really? of that, but we'll go to that later. Okay. But right now, this was a huge hit at Christmas. It was released at Christmas. Mm -hmm. People like it. And, and you know, there's a, a retro thing going on now where people love Westerns again, thanks right. to Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. I thought that it was very realistic. Now, I, I'm a farmer. I have dead? horses all my life. It's part of it. Wait, Deb, wait. What's more important is our sponsors. And oh, this week's yep. sponsors is Brady's Botanicals out in Morrisville, PA. Ooh. Now, I'm sure if the True Grit Cowboys were out there, they would want to stop at a place like this, especially having a ride all day. Go to Brady's Botanicals. Feel calm, soothing, and relaxed. This where the Coen brothers did this movie, and they're right. usually weirdo stuff that right. they do. Mm -hmm. But they did a, like a, a departure film for them. Spielberg was a producer on this. Right. To their credit, again, this is where I'm going to give it props and then, you know, go into other details. But they take the original and they kind of twist it into more of Maddie's story. Yeah. Rather than the original, which was sort of a Maddie, you know, a rooster story. Right. Um, and it was interesting. I read a review that caught my attention where there was a lot of symbolisms in this new version of True Grit, where you, that Maddie is in the opening scene. She's actually almost justifying through God. Yeah. The reason for revenge of her father's murder. Right. Exactly. And she goes through this whole transformation throughout the whole film and then turns around back towards the end. Exactly. So. Love it. That gave me chills because that caught my attention. But um, come on, you think of something like original. It. Well, no, I liked it, but it's not. See, for something for me to rate high, it's going to be something that I would want to watch again. But this had comedy, pathos, loyalty in it. Do you really um, think it had comedy? I think yeah. no, not like the original. The original had more comedy to it. I think again, I keep going back to the original because I think it's an interesting change in not only when the movie was made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but also the way the film looked. When you go back to 1969, you're looking at the countryside. It's John Wayne, the Duke. I mean, that's all American. So I think the Coen brothers were just too cocky in that they got 10 Academy Award nominations. And they go out and say, um, 10 seems like an awful lot. We don't want to take anyone else's. But they lost. They lost yeah. to Tom Hooper's The King's Speech. Yeah. So guess what, Coen brothers? You didn't get anything. And the, a lot of uh, the reason the King's Speech won is because the King's Speech is more for the Academy members. Mm -hmm. Some of them are so old that they give the film to their maid to look at. Right. So that they love the King's Speech. It's a time, and Colin Firth is like a favorite. You know, he's like a favorite son of, of a, a, Hollywood yeah, and British. Hundred percent. Right. Yeah. Hundred percent. So I think, and I think that's what we fail to recognize is that we, as the viewer. Forget about the politics behind the Oscars. Always. Forget who's voting for the Oscars. worse now. 100% yep. worse. Right. And I want to get into that in a later episode because we want to talk about yes. the, the, the politics, who's voting, why are they voting. And again, you got something like True Grit. And then Jeff Bridges won the Academy Award one year earlier. He did. And that's why maybe they didn't even of think course. about it. Of course. I mean, you look at it. Oh, he's saying, here, I got one last right. year. Forget that. You know, let's give it to our favorite son, Colin Firth. But there's two things that I love Barry Pepper. He's one of my favorite actors. I mean, he, you know, you don't see him that much. Maybe you don't know him. Mm -hmm. But I loved his part. And originally, Michael Bean, who was in Aliens, and he was in Terminator, he was Kyle. He was cast as that part. Mm. But something happened where he fell out of favor. And another thing that I think is super interesting, this was the last DVD that Netflix mailed out. Oh, I didn't the know that. The very last DVD. So I think when you watch True Grit, the 2010 version, I had to watch, I had to go back and watch the True Grit, the original one. Yeah. Because I think it gives you a really interesting full breadth of how times change. Right. And John Wayne won the Best Actor Award, yeah. the Academy they were Award. They're afraid for... not to give it to him. No. Well, obviously. yeah, well, he's Mr. USA, yeah. the Duke. Come oh, yeah. on. Um, well, do you know that? And you're a book purist. Mm -hmm. The character Rooster Carbone in the book was in his 40s, and both mm -hmm. Jeff Bridges and John Wayne were much older, older. than yep. that. Yeah. So that was something that changed. Because I mean, I don't mind them bending the book like you do. I right. know you go back unless it's like, you know, like iconically to kill a mockingbird or mm -hmm. something. I'd go nuts and rip mm -hmm. the pages out. But, um, you know, 
That's that. That was like one thing they did change. Right. I like the way both films portrayed Rooster Cogburn, and that he was sort of this law enforcement officer, but he's a drunkard. He's kind of sloppy. And oh, speaking of drinking, yeah. I think we should honor the Duke and Jeff Bridges. And Mr. unlike Cockburn, other shows that have apple juice, we actually have real... Real liquor. Real cocktails liquor. in the there. The cheers. Cheers. And this is to, to John Wayne, Wayne Jeff, and Jeff Bridges, Bridges, and Warren Oates, okay. who did the thing. Now, I don't know did how much time we have. Is it almost gone time? No. It isn't. I didn't kick you. I don't when I kick you, it's you five minutes. The ankle. <laughs> but it's not First five minutes. First of all, I have to drink, so you can talk okay, here we I go. Drink. I'm going to drink my margarita. How about if we drink and talk at the same okay. time, like the bench? And do you know Robert Duvall? See, I'm going to go back and forth between the two films because I, I, I liked this. Review. All right, well, you're going to make everybody watch both of them now. You know, we really and they that. should, and they and should. Get Turner Classic Movies, if you don't have it, so you can see the other one. Yes, and then what's interesting is Robert Duvall, a young Robert Duvall, played in the original True Grit. Robert Duvall for my favorite movie. What is it? To Kill my Godfather. Oh, I thought you were going to say To Kill a Mockingbird. No, because he was Paul Bradley. Oh, please. What do you mean, oh, please? Hey, Plus Yeti in Godfather. Oh, I know please. it was. I know. I can't de demean or degrade The Godfather. It's a fantastic please movie. Don't. But Kill a Mockingbird, give me a break. Yeah, well, well, Atticus is everybody's father. But you know what's also interesting is that Hollywood it's made blood. blood. It is actually good. Okay, Margarita. let's just drink. It's <laughs> for you. No, no, no. We'll get fired. Samurai, which is a Kurosawa movie, and it's it's Japanese, but at the same time, it is the basis for the old and new Magnificent Seven. Now, mm -hmm. the Magnificent Seven had Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen, right. two iconic people, but I'm telling you, I always have a chip on my shoulder when they do remakes, but the one with Denzel Wa Washington was ass-kicking. I, I love that movie. That. I thought it was great. I have to so they it. were all really, really good. Audience, listen to Debbie's recommendations. School yourself. Yeah. And listen to Debbie. So we are Real Watch List Plus. We are from from Bold, Bold Media, Media Films. And like us, subscribe, click, do whatever Engage, you want to do. Engage, share. Watch us. Share. Believe it or not, it was the third remake. First one with John Wayne and Kim Darby. Second one with Warren Oates. Stop getting into detail for and the intro, Deborah. Yeah, but before we do anything, we're going to just go into our outfits. Now, Joe. You're supposed to stop, Deborah. I am? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said like the second part. No. No, no. The first part is a 30 second intro. And then, oh. then the song breaks out. Oh, the intro show. The intro show. So, and then we go. Can I stop again? Do it again? Okay. <laughs>